It is 74 degrees in my apartment. Almost the end of February. And I live in Missouri. Hello everybody, this is Mystique. 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 Um, I don't know if Poe and I mentioned this in our introduction video or not, but we don't plan on doing videos together all the time. Both of us have jobs, we have careers, and this stuff takes a long time. We're hoping to evolve, but as of now, we kind of do things separately. So this is one of my separate DIY videos. Um, so yes, you have to deal with the boring one right now. I can try to be like Poe. Hookers! That's enough of that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy my DIY project. Today I will be teaching you how to make a coffin ring box. I cannot roll my R's, I'm sorry. I wouldn't recommend this as like a to-go box because the lid kind of comes off easily, but it is nice for storage, especially like since you could put multiple ones side by side. Um, I do want to get like one of the wooden ones and probably about the same size. I mean, you can probably put hinges on this, but it's kind of meh. I would rather get a wood one because I would love to like actually stain it and make it look super nice. And also, like I promised, there will be a money counter in the corner. This will add up all of the supplies that you need. I am not including scissors, hot glue, any of that, because honestly, those are tools that you should invest beforehand. I will have the price of those things in the, in the opposite corner. I just won't add them up as I go. With all of that in mind, let's get started. The first thing you will need is a coffin box. I have three lovely coffin boxes that I actually got as a gift, but I saw them at Dollar Tree and of course they were a dollar. They are very cute. Um, they say do not disturb on the front. There's a little Dracula inside and he's wearing a little blanket with blood types on it and moccasins. I don't know why, but we are going to suffocate him. They come in three different sizes, little, not so little, and gigantic. And I am only going to use the tiny one because I want to put my lesser known rings in the, that one. Next, you're going to get some fabric. It doesn't have to be red. It doesn't have to be velvet either. I got this in a bag full of other fabric. I'm going to estimate that it was probably about $2, even though the whole bag was 10. This is lovely thick upholstery fabric and you only need it to be about 11 to 12 inches long. I wouldn't recommend getting uh, cotton fabric but I would recommend getting something thick. Next, you will need measuring tape. You can use this. I've been eyeballing it this whole time, but I'm not gonna use it for this one because I am lazy. First, we're going to start by cutting a strip out of our fabric to match the width of the top of our coffin. By the way, you don't have to cover your vampire. You can just make a little blanket for him and leave the top clear so you could put earring studs in there. So you're going to cut a strip that's the same width as your coffin. And I recommend buying a pair of fabric scissors. They're a good investment. They're, these were around $25.79, I believe. Fabric doesn't have to be completely even, just as long as one end is straight. Next, you're going to roll up your strip of fabric into a roll and cut off any extra fringe. Next, you're going to get Fray Check Glue. You can get two bottles of this for $6.99 on Joann's, but Joann's has sales all the time. I think I got it for about $4.99 or $4.89. The glue is not very sticky. It's mostly meant for fabric and ribbon to keep it from fraying. It isn't sticky at all, but I do recommend doing this in a well-ventilated area because it's really, really stinky. And you're just going to plop it on the ends of the roll. Mm. 
Next, you will take your glue gun. Uh, this is a really crappy glue gun I got at Target for $12.99. Do yourself a huge favor and invest in a real glue gun. I hope that in my next tutorial I will have a very nice glue gun and we will be able to play with that. So you will take your glue gun and take the very end of your roll and glue the strip onto the end. So you have a nice little roll and once it's dry, stick it into the top where it belongs. And you're not going to glue it in just yet, we're just going to leave it in and you're going to make eight more of these rolls. So I already made ahead a bunch of rolls for this coffin and I'm going to show you how to glue them in. So you're going to take whichever end was squished and put it in. That way it looks nice and neat. You don't ever want to do it by the hem. You'll want the, uh, the end of your little roll just facing, facing the other roll. We have a very lovely coffin box and we only spent $9.99 on the entire project. Look at it, isn't it pretty? As a bonus, go ahead and take your lid to your coffin and cut out a piece of lace that is coffin shaped. The lace alone, I think a yard was about $4.99. You can probably get it cheaper at Joann's. I tried using this cheap Dollar Tree stick glue to put it in and it was awful. Go ahead and invest in real freaking glue because that sucked. I had to use the hot glue. I don't recommend that because it's just going to leave it bumpy. I just recommend buying some Elmer's glue or something clear. I think they're like $1.69 or something. And then you will cut off any excess lace that you put in. So now, not only do you have a storage case for your rings, you also have a nice storage case for long earrings. If you decide to do both of these projects together, you will only spend around $16.67. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials later on, subscribe. Follow Poe and I's Instagram links, Facebooks, all that jazz. Also, if you are a musician and you would love to sp have one of your songs sponsored in one of our videos, shoot me an email at pinkfink17 at yahoo.com. We'd love to feature independent artists, preferably in the goth, metal, and industrial field. Or anywhere in between. Enjoy your new coffin ring box, and we will see you later.